believe it. This time it's going to be young Olaf outside filming. <laughs> <laughs> because he hates him and he's like, I'm going to get you. Yeah, I'm going to take the song. Hey guys, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We're watching episode 5. Young Royals. Young Royals season 2. Yes. Last episode ended on a high because our favorite boys are maybe back together. At least they shared a kiss. And I think they, they shared a little bit more than that. They also talked a little. They talked Then they a kissed bit. a little bit more. And then Simon sang a beautiful song. Yeah, that was really beautiful. Yes. But let's see what happens with Marcus. Let's see what happens with August, who seems to be upset with Sarah. Yes. Um, yeah. And also Stella and Federica. True. Very true. You know? If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Let's see if this is going to develop further, because it would be nice to see... Yeah, just to have another... Yes, angle. Yes. Or like another love story, another angle. Another love story, um... Would be nice. But we'll see how this plays out. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Sniff. He's into sniffing. He doesn't even know what sniffing is. He's burying his whole face in it. He is. He needs to wash that jumper. Oh, look at his face. He's smiling. Oh, Simon is having a meltdown. Mm. Knack aboard. Uh, you just want to talk to him. Whoops. He obviously doesn't know what's going on. They both received the speech. Oh, no. wow. Telling them both to prepare. August is going to take advantage. But they still haven't told Wilhelm, right, that August is a backup. Where is it, Marcus? No, I'm not going to go. I just want to go to the What? You were there with Marcus? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Why did you do it? Because I'm a dumb head. Your no. feelings took over. You're an idiot. He wanted to. He's talking to the wrong person because she's also shitty. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She says how it is. Oh, this is incredible. Yeah, I mean, it also applies to her in August. Yeah, but also her, like, it's nice when they have these moments, them too. But also this would have been a good moment for her to be like, by the way, mm. I am sleeping with the enemy. Oh no, here we go. He, so Marcus didn't realize no. he didn't have any signals? You got it. August. Jag läste igenom talet. Måste bara säga att det är verkligen spot on. Jag har lite funderingar kring vissa formuleringar. Så det vore jättebra om vi skulle kunna prata lite. Nu vet vi inte hur. Nu vet inte, jag vet. Det är ju Ville som ska, som ska hålla talet. Kronprinsen. Kronprinsen, ja. Såklart. Correct. Respect He the prince. Is the crown prince. Know your place. The speech oh is not going to be changed. He's just kissing his ass. Look at him, how happy he is. He doesn't like, he doesn't like the song. He's gonna ask them to change it. 
No, he will say, sorry, this is the guy he slept with, remove him. Yeah, 100%. I'm about to jump into the screen and slap him. This is not about to happen. Oh no, this is not about to happen. <sighs> Face crack. Exactly, it should be modern. Mm. Uh, not the solo. We don't like Simon in the royal court. They just court. don't want him to be in the no. spotlight. <sighs> Is he gonna let this out on on Wilhelm though? Oh, so cute, not a mood. But he's not in the mood. Simon, just take it. Oh, talk to him. Just take it. No, not in class, but just take the damn sandwich. The knackerboard. But like, don't be so cold mm. to Willem. It's not his fault. Yeah. Poor Simon. Det känns bara som att allt jag försöker göra blir till ett problem när du kommer in i bilden. Men alltså... Close the door. Jag trodde att vi liksom... ...kunde börja om på nytt efter barnen, eller... Du, eller vi, kysste ju varann. Jag får inte sjunga min låt på jubileet. De vill inte att du ska associeras med mig. Som vanligt. That does hurt, right? Let's be honest. Låten handlar om dig. You didn't know? I mean... He just thought it's a nice song. He doesn't know it's a song for him. Marcus didn't read the signs. I mean... Just speak to Jan Olof. What? What are you talking about? Simon, what the fuck are you saying? You don't have any idea what I'm going to do. Not the fighting. Don't fight. Det var ett misstag igår, okej. Okay. No, don't break his heart. They're breaking each other's hearts. Oh yeah, he didn't know that it was August. I completely forgot that. No. Det var August som lade ut videon. This is not the, is this the time to tell him? <gasps> no, he's gonna be so upset. No. <sighs> Du är exakt som din mamma. Du är arg på henne, men du är exakt som din mamma. Oh wow, I think I need my explosive t-shirt back. Well, not protecting myself, but like protecting the royal family, yeah. Simon, Simon, snälla, kan vi... Oh my god. Is he gonna punch August when he sees him? It takes me back to a conversation that I had in the first season when he said something about you will always protect me or I think Will has said oh I need to protect the crown, you don't understand. Hmm. Like my family. And then Simon said something, what about my family? Mm -hmm. You know? That was literally right after the video came out or something. It's a very similar conversation. It feels like they are uh, moving in circles. Ah, it breaks my heart. But imagine, he feels so betrayed now. Wait until he finds out that Simon knew as well. Oh my god. This song is nice as well. But he needs to keep it together because otherwise he won't be able to do the speech. And August will win. What for ändrade du i karen? Du tog bort Simons låt. Få se på kostymen. 
perfekt. Hör nu, man ska sitta så här tajt på. Åh, åh, så jag hänger panic attack. Anxiety attack. It really goes back to bad communication across the board. Mm. What are these guys planning? Listen, you have us. We have your rig. We have your bag. Do you remember season one when he wanted these two to scare August, mm -hmm. and then they went, and these two were protecting August? <clears throat> Det är så där. Om Simon inte får sjunga sin låt på jubileet så kommer inte jag hålla talet. Oh. Jan Olofs beslut handlar om att han vill göra det bästa för vårt besök och för ditt tal. Det är gaslighting. Erik behövde inte hålla några tal innan han myndighetsförklarades. Vad ska jag göra det för? Säg ärligt, jag fattar inte. Interesting. Vilhelm, om du inte håller talet kommer August att göra det. She's telling him. Why is she telling him? Well, I guess she has to. At this point. The strategists. Wow. Wow. Well. Om du anses olämplig. She's telling him everything. Om du kliver av eller om... Yeah, to be honest, like he could have actually come to that conclusion himself, you know. It's just the system. Literally, yeah. if there's no one else, yeah. then. Well, I can't force you, but I'm forcing you. <laughs> beslut påverkar inte bara dig själv. Jag behöver dig. På mitt team, Villa. Mm. Wow, what, the, what does that mean? Om du inte tar kronan, Villa, så tar Augusten. Wow, that wow. is crazy. No, but I hope this will give him the motivation to like just do that bloody speech. Who the most guys? Feliz, of course, she's like, yeah, it's me. She's like, yes. <laughs> well, maybe Kinda she has. True. She's like, hee hee hee. The worst at keeping secrets. <laughs> um, hmm, I'll XO, say Sarah. Oh, Gus girl. Oh, Feliz, your mom's here. Do you want to go to the house Uh oh, what's going on? Vi måste köpa det som är här och titta på det och sålagt ett bud som vi accepterat. Men ni ska inte köpa det här. Oh no. Din mamma och pappa som har blivit sammen. She's like no, she's like no. The horse is staying here. Det är inte jag som bestämmer. No, she is not calling the shots. Yeah, it's not Feliz, so... Men stå! Nej. Oh, thanks mom and dad for ruining the party. This is devastating for her. Yeah, she connected with, with Rousseau now on another level, you know, she's... It's almost like her soulmate or something, you know. The connection that Felice didn't build with the horse, Sarah did. Oh, look where he is! And he's talking, talking, talking! There was a real Erik, and there was a Prince Erik. And he did it galant. Och tacksam vill den. Kan också innebära att man att man känner skuld. It's interesting though because he just said the right thing. There was the Prince Eric and there was, you know, Eric the person, the, the real Eric. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to separate. Vi kan då då. Mamma. Your mom. Can we talk about the fact that the father disappeared completely? <laughs> kan inte välja vilka vi Födsom, men vi kan välja hur vi vill leva. Exactly. Right, but we're not going to give August the win. 
That's the thing, like, it's so conflicting. Exactly. Right? Oh. What favor is that? Let's go on a little trip. Oh, she's going to August. She needs a little love. Yeah, they haven't talked at all since since the ball. Right away. I had all sorts of cellulites. At least I didn't think that. I didn't understand how can I not bring sig. It's not up to Feliz. <gasps> August is gonna call young Olaf and say, can you do me a favor? Mm. Can you buy me a horse? Do you think? <laughs> yes. Could you imagine? Hey babe, I bought you a horse. <laughs> Would you buy me a horse? Do you want one? Please. Sure. Guys, he's gonna buy me a horse. Oh, what no. are you doing here? This is not the right time. So I August. We are nest for tour. Tron fell them. After me. They betyder that I was going to let them have him take over. So no. why are you telling him? No, Simon's going to be like, no, you can't give it to him. But if you go to the police, so I don't have any reserve anymore. They already did it. Oh no! Svika hela min familj, svika Erik. Och jag vill inte. Så han precis skulle kasta krona för din skull. Yes, he did. He did say that. Yes. So did they or did they not report him? He's gonna buy the horse. I told you he's gonna buy the horse! Talk for more. Not him calling his mama to sell off the inheritance to buy her a how horse. Much is, how much is the bloody horse? Oh, look at him. Oh, this is, I don't want to like him. I don't want to like him. I think that the cash about it. Du vet inte att tjäna ju dem bröt så att du kan smyga ut obemärkt. He's so cute, I can't believe it. This needs to stop. Men skulle du kunna göra slut med mig för hennes skull? Nej. Look at his smile! How? How is this possible that we like him suddenly? And you like we, him as well? And then we hate him and then we like <sighs> him again. Oh, please, you won't hurt me. <laughs> this is too much already. Calm down now. There is still another person in front of you. You need to realize they wouldn't allow her to become queen. Right? Well, she is a girl, so he's she has an advantage over she, yeah, she has an advantage, but like not with her background, I think. Oh, don't be pissy towards Felice. This is gonna backfire. I can feel it already. This is a preparation of episode 6 and it's gonna be a huge explosion. Alltså Malin projicerar ju allting på sig. Och det kanske är just därför hon är kär i henne. För att hon kan vara precis den personen som Malin vill att hon ska vara. Hon får svårt att kombinera med vad hon egentligen känner. Speciellt för Siv. Hon har ju varit tvungen att följa de reglerna. På grund av vad hon lär sig. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm. Thanks, Malin and Sif. We needed you. <laughs> Sarah's like, continue. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <gasps> no. 
See, he just sees that smirk oh on my his God. face, and he just hates him. I ha- he's looking over to Sarah. Simon thinks he's looking over to him. He keeps looking over to Sarah. <laughs> Disaster. Oh no, he's gonna drop the bomb. He's gonna say, by the way, August recorded us. Well, by the way, mom, we're not together anymore. Are you though? <laughs> she doesn't know the dirty secrets. <laughs> Sarah's like, she's like, no, I think to go to police. Chef Clark. So, but then that means he won't be able to become king, and then August, um, Wilhelm needs to become He king. also won't be able to buy that horse, and Sarah can't have that, so she's gonna kill her brother. Oh. Do you think she's gonna, she's no. gonna tell him? No, don't tell him. Who is more important, your brother or August? Hey. This is crazy. This is so uncomfortable, I actually can't deal. What is she doing? This, she is the villain. She is the villain. Like, it's her brother. Like, it's seriously. crazy. Yeah, I think both is up. You must have a I can't make the lot of August come and remember that. Okay, so I think it ain't the swap on a full frogger, it's on your think it passes. It's just give it to me, Labo. I have actual goosebumps. That means all the pressure is back on Wilhelm, though. He needs to give the speech, he needs to become pre- a king, like. Oh no, he's gonna puke. Mmm, some had tomato sauce for lunch. <laughs> Should have stick to Knackwort. <laughs> oh, I feel yeah. like I feel instantly bad. the 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 anxiety is back. It breaks my heart, I swear. This is crazy. <laughs> wow, he's destroyed. This is crazy. Where am I? Throwing up because of you. I mean... He said to Simon... It's your decision. But I think there was a part of him, actually, who was like... Please don't do it. Please don't do it, right? I'll happily not become king. Close the damn curtains already. Fick panik av tanken på att tala från framme. Imagine him throwing up during the speech. <laughs> du ska veta att jag inte går till polisen för att skada dig. Jag vet. Yeah, it's scary for both of you. Like, you need to be there for each other. Support each other. Come on, no more. The curtain's still open. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I would have them closed 24 7. Me too. Oh, sniff, sniff. <laughs> New sweater. The episode better not end now. Please don't kiss. This is not the moment to kiss. Mm. Or maybe it is a moment to kiss. Now oh, here we go. Oh, 
And this time, no recording, please. I mean, they haven't had intimacy properly since, since then. Yeah. It's been a minute. Oh my god, in front of the window. Close the bloody curtains. I can't believe it. This time it's gonna be young Olaf outside filming. <laughs> <laughs> because he hates him and he's like, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I'm gonna take the song. Look at him. Yes. yes. You've learned your lesson. Yes. Do it for all of us. He just did it for every single one of us. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is crazy. And the episode ends. Oh, this is crazy. Speak. What do you want to say? What are your thoughts? I don't know where to start. <laughs> I, also I mean, I have to say, to... at least once again, like in the previous episode, we're ending on a nice positive thing, right? Fair enough. They're kissing, they're yeah. making out, so that's I can tell the show progress. I can tell the show has fooled you. Because <laughs> every time there is a beautiful, nice moment, which is a kiss or a little making out session, it ends in a catastrophe, right? Probably next episode is gonna be a disaster. Episode six, these guys are gonna, you know, wreck us. Well, let, let me live in the moment. You live in the moment. Yes. He's living in the moment. I'm still waiting for that horse, by the way. <laughs> well, August is actually buying her the horse. What? But maybe now that he found out that Simon might report him, he's going to be like, you know what? I'm not going to buy you the horse. No, no, no. Your brother is reporting him. He's actually going to say, listen, honey, I'm about to buy that horse. You better take care of your brother. Yeah, he's maybe. Gonna... Maybe he's like, oh, you need to speak to your brother, convince him not to report me. Because I have a little surprise for you. Anyway. And then he's going to be like, why not? He's like, well, I'm in love with August. And he's going to be so upset. He's going to be upset. I can't believe that she still didn't tell him. But then again, at this point, she's so deep in shit. She can't tell him. Because... She literally walked over to August and said, by the way, my brother is about yeah. to report you. But also, like, she already had so many moments where she could have told him, right? At the kitchen table, like, when he actually said, I know who did it, it was August. Yeah. She could have said, like... Please don't do anything, actually, I love him. Yeah. Um, but listen, that moment when she wakes up, and I think we kind of suspected it. And I was joking about it. Oh, 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 oh he's going to buy the horse for her. And then he is on that phone to his mom. Yeah. And then he comes back into the room. And he's just sitting at the edge of the bed. And he's looking at her. And he's just the sweetest person. And you know what? I've seen a few interviews with him now. The, the actor that plays him mm -hmm. does an incredible job at portraying August in this arrogant, you know, villainess way. But the actual actor is the sweetest person. Mm -hmm. And here... You could see that. You could see that that, that, that. that true person was coming through, right? For, for a few seconds, I wasn't seeing August anymore. I was seeing the actor, the actual person. Yeah. So as much as it took me out of the August fantasy, right? I was like, oh, that's not August anymore. That's the actor, mm -hmm. right? I appreciated the fact that he was showing us a different side of August, which started appearing when Sarah started, you know, yeah. approaching him and they had these moments together. So, like you said, you said it last episode, she is turning him into a better person. And I think it was a couple of you guys also in the comments that said when the Alex situation happened last episode, mm -hmm. right? He told Alex about Willa just yeah. because he had that negative interaction with, with Sarah. Yeah, he was upset. He, he was, was upset. upset. But, um, yeah, it's just crazy that that really small moment of him, like, showing happiness, mm -hmm. right? And, like, smiling... He called his mother to buy a horse for Sarah. Yeah, he but hates his it, mother. It just like takes like a few seconds to, yeah. of him smiling, and we're like, oh. Poor, so we're the like, softies. We're the softies. We're like, oh, this is so nice. We love Completely him. forgetting about all the shit he's yeah. done, right? Well, I want to say no. We're not forgetting. Well, at least forgetting for a moment, yeah. right? But, but this is crazy. Let me live in the moment. You said it a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. But then also, let's talk about that very brief moment at the beginning, because we just mentioned Alex. So, Villa says good morning. Alex does not respond, walks away. And they still haven't talked. 
So I'm sure they're gonna. Th there is gonna be something next episode. It will, my, yeah. yeah, I'm sure. The writer can't. was like, "Listen, let's plant the seed in episode five, but let's have a conversation and an altercation and a situation in episode six. Yeah, they're gonna sure. throw it all into episode six. Definitely. But then also, Wilhe is Wille is having a conversation with his mom, where I was like, "Here we go again." Christina is gaslighting him. <laughs> When she was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you know what he's talking about. Because you have Jiang Mola von Spita. But then she actually is like, babe, by the way, this is the plan. The strategist in the strategy room at the Royal Court, which I found actually funny, <laughs> have strategized to maneuver you out with August. So she tells him everything, which is well, pretty but nice actually, of her. Yeah, yeah, actually, I appreciated her being yeah. honest in that moment because she just said, this is how it is, you know. There is no one else to do the job. If you don't want to become king and you want to abdicate, gonna replace you. there has to be someone. And mm -hmm. the only one is August. And she did say, actually, she did mention it. Maybe maybe Wilhelm didn't hear it or realize it, but she did say, like, oh, I don't want this either. No. Or it was not my idea or something, you know. But I also want to say that she thinks more about herself than she thinks about August. Yeah. Because she said, I need you on my team. Yes. And if August is taking your position, it's not just bad for you, it changes everything, right? Which also means that the queen will lose a lot of privileges, I'm assuming, right? And her life will change and, and her... And she's been the queen for... I don't know how old she is, but she's been the queen for so long. She doesn't want to give up that life that she's living, you know, and the power that she has, I'm assuming. But uh, I don't I don't think she would lose the title, right? Like No, but 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 it changes things for her, right? Because suddenly her son is not the crown prince anymore. Yeah. It won't so, it won't it won't look good on her. No, so. it won't look good on her, but then we also have a moment between Simon and uh, Villa where Willa tells him, "Hey, by the way, August was the one who recorded us, hmm. which is literally just, you know, let me drop a bomb. And Simone is thinking about, and actually voices it a couple of times. He's like, I'm going to report him. I'm going to report him. He spoke to his friends about it. They're supporting him. He spoke to his mom about it. She's supporting him. He hasn't obviously mentioned anything to the principal. He's now mentioned to Villa that he's going to do it. You know, so the question is, will he really do it? Will we see that in episode six or? Yeah, I don't know. Like it could go either way, mm. right? Because he hates August, right? Yep. So he wants to report him. He needs to take accountability. But at the same time, that would mean that he wouldn't be able to become king. And then kind of, Wilhelm is kind of forced to continue right to continue yeah. to be the prince and to become king so and you could see it right in the moment when he realized at the end he had another panic attack like anxiety mm. was just too much the pressure is too much for him mm. so, so maybe in the end simon will decide you know what i'm not going to do it to protect villa to protect villa yeah so it's interesting because you also said um, when he was talking to the um, psychiatrist, right, he was talking about Eric and he was talking about how Eric, you know, he had his professional side, the Prince Eric and, and then the personal the Eric. Eric. And, um, it, you know, it's very true because at the end of the day, it's a job, right? And and, and like you and me and everybody, you know, you, you go to work and you have your, your, your personal self, your personal life, and then you have your professional yeah. self. So clearly, Wilhelm is struggling with it. He doesn't know where to start. He doesn't know how to approach this whole situation, but he also doesn't know where he needs to switch on this professional hat, this mm -hmm. prince hat. And then, you know, it's it's interesting because at the end of the day, you also need to think about it and you need to remember he's a 16-year-old boy, you know? Yeah. He wasn't taught. And yeah, that's the thing. Because I, because he was always the second yes. son, right? So he wasn't getting the same attention. He wasn't getting the same attention. They probably thought like, we don't need to teach him those kind of things. Mm. They didn't prepare him in the same way they did with Eric. Mm. So he never had to think about or like develop this second persona mm -hmm. as much as Eric, Eric you know, or, or the queen herself. 
So for them now to expect him to do so many things, all, all these things, you know, and just assume this role is just... It's crazy. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot for a 16-year-old. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Episode 15 was quite explosive. I can understand why people are like, oh, episode 4 was good, but episode 5 is better. <laughs> um, I, I want to see where this whole thing with Sarah is going. Because you can see, like, she really, she's going against her brother. Mm-hmm. She, that was crazy. That her, her, her getting out of the bus and then running into August's arms and be like, FYI, my brother is reporting you. Yeah. She's sticking with August, yeah. right? It seems also like the friendship with Felice is kind of breaking apart. Breaking apart because she's upset about the horse. Bloody hell. She won't even be speaking to her the minute she has Russo gifted by August. That is crazy. The, the, the writers were like, let's think of some craziness. Ah, August is going to buy her the horse. I want to know how much August had to sell up his uh, inheritance to buy that horse. Not a lot. No. How, how much is a horse? We need to Google. How much is a horse, guys? <laughs> he needs to know. I want to know. Like... He's going to buy me one. He needs to know. Oh, this is hilarious. Listen, episode five did not disappoint. Um, again, thanks for being here with the craziness. I mean, this show. I can't and stop keep, thinking keep about it. Keep commenting because we love reading your comments. Yes. Thank you so much for all the comments. Thanks so much for also enlightening us because there is so much. Uh, we, you know, when we edit and then we, we want to rewatch the show in, in English, we said as well, we want to rewatch it because obviously yeah. the, the actual actors have voiced the, 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 the characters. So we're going to rewatch it in English. But and like you guys said as well, like there is so much to pick up, so so much detail, and I'm sure there is so much more in here that we've missed. We didn't even speak about uh, Stella and Federica, but anyway, right. um, they weren't shown much. But we will be back next week with the finale. With the finale. So right. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.